Hello and welcome to Arab Business. Algeria has urged dialogue between OPEC and non-OPEC producers to help stabilize the oil market and stop falling prices that are affecting their state finances. Algeria's energy minister, Youssef Yusfi, said demand is above supply and this will put more pressure on prices. He added that Algeria has started talking to countries inside and outside the organization of the petroleum exporting countries to avert negative effects on their economies. Morocco's consumer price inflation rose to an annual 1.6% in January for, from 0.4% in December as food and non-food prices increased. The high planning authorities said food inflation was up 2.1% in the 12 months through January. On a month-on-month -month basis, the consumer price index was steady in January at 0.3%. The food price index rose 1.1% on the month and non-food prices were down 0.4%. Lebanon's finance minister, Ali Hassan Khalil, says Lebanon has launched a $2.2 billion sovereign euro bond, the largest single issue in the history of the country. The issue will be divided into two categories. The first is for $800 million with 10-year maturity and 6.2% interest, and the second is for $1.4 billion with 15-year maturity and a 6.65% interest rate. Foreign investors have subscribed to 15% of the issue and Lebanese are covering the remaining 85%. Rich Gulf Arab countries have so far failed to diversify their economies away from oil revenue and some may eventually face political challenges as a result, according to senior Qatar Central Bank official Khalid al Khatar. The comments by Al Qatar, the Qatar Central Bank's Director of Research and Monetary Policy, reflected concern in the region about the impact of the plunge of oil prices since last year, even, through, even though GCC oil exporters' huge fiscal reserves mean they face no immediate threat and can continue heavy state spending. And before we finish, let's have a glance at the stock markets. Saudi Arabia and Egypt moved very little in early trade as oil slipped. The main Saudi index inched up 0.6%, Egypt and Dubai each rose 0.1%, Abu Dhabi's benchmark edged down 02 Kuwait and Qatar slipped 01 and Oman was down 0.3%. That's all for now. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. We will be back tomorrow with some more from the business world in the Middle East. Goodbye.